welcome to Hobie Life. Come learn about a non-commercial and guarded rare breed of dog named a Hovavart with roughly only 600 in the United States. Dating back to the 13th century, this old German breed is loyal, loving, <laughs> stubborn, steadfast, intelligent, independent, and makes for a great family pet. A Hovavart has a heart full of love. They don't work for you, but with you, and expect to become part of your loving family. This organic series will follow our Anka as we go through the ethical, education, socialization, and proper breeding process outlined by the Hope of Art Club of North America. Come experience the journey through our first litter and into Hobie Life! Hi there, I'm Steve with Hobie Life, and today we're going to talk about brushing your dog's teeth. Now, I'm an authorized breeder of a special dog called the Hub of Art. And today though, the skills I'm gonna teach you apply to any dog that you've got, okay? Any breed. So it's important to brush your dog's teeth on a regular basis. Just like humans, they can get cavities, bad breath, gum issues, and worse yet, a lot of plaque, dental decay, and loss of teeth. Blech. And Oral hygiene can be linked to other issues with the dog as far as internal organs, stress on the liver and kidneys and so forth. So please, please, please take the 90, 120 seconds a day it takes to brush your dog's teeth. Now it's important that you brush your dog's teeth on a daily basis. If you skip a day by accident and get it six days out of seven, okay. But once a week, once a month, one six months, once a year is not enough. Their teeth and gums are just like our humans, and if they don't get brushed, they get plaque buildup, they get an odorous discharge from their mouth, they can get rotten cavities, and then you have expensive vet dental bills. Now, it's important to remember three key things here. One, never, never, never use a human toothpaste. They're full of chemicals that aren't good for your pet. We're trained to spit it out, but the dogs don't. They want to swallow it and ingest it. So human toothpaste, eh, no, no, no. You either want to use an approved dog toothpaste, and they come in chicken, flake, chicken liver and beef flavor and poultry. Ugh. But anyways, dogs love it. So use an approved dog toothpaste, not a human toothpaste. Two, you want to use a dog approved toothbrush or I found you can use a human toothbrush, kitty size, soft bristle. Not medium or hard, soft bristle. And if you find yourself traveling and you forgot your toothpaste or dog toothbrush at home, a lot of the nice hotels have courtesy hygiene kits that include a toothbrush with soft bristles. So if you find yourself on the road there, get the hospitality toothbrush there from the hotel. Now, three, when you brush your dog's teeth, you need to be very careful. Yeah, dogs are tough and they internalize pain differently, but if you're just starting and you don't really understand your dog's signals or signs as in pain or discomfort, you want to be slow and gentle. So don't go at it too fast. A public safety announcement. Some videos on the internet here promote you to go in and get a dental cleaning once or twice a year. Now, I've talked to, well, I travel a lot and I've probably talked to 15 or 20 vets. And more times than not, the advice I get is once a year, or if you can, avoid it and just brush your dog's teeth. Now, I think it's really a lot of plaque and buildup and you have to go in and get an annual cleaning. By means, do so for your dog's health because they get periodontal disease just like we do. Bleeding gums, recessive gums, cavities, rot, teeth getting loose. You have to address the problem. But if you brush your dog's teeth on a regular basis at home, you can avoid the annual annual cleaning because every time they do that, they have to sedate your dog and put them under. 
And anytime you start introducing chemicals and sedation, you always run the risk of losing your pet. So I try to minimize as much as possible how many times I take my dog in for an annual cleaning. However, that doesn't mean I don't do it. Sometimes I get a bad whiff of odor. I'm seeing some recessive gum and bleeding. I think I see a cavity. Time to go see the vet. Now, as you're brushing here, I examine Addie's gum and I look at her teeth. And I look for any kind of foreign objects or any damage she's done to her teeth over the day because she's outside chewing sticks and playing. I don't see any damage. So in this case, I don't use a toothpaste, the doggy brand. I just use regular cool running water. And when I brush my teeth as a human, Addie hears that water running and she comes willingly to get her teeth brushed. I think it's the cool water and just the love and attention and, and caring I give her. She appreciates the praise and she likes the coolness on her gum. That in itself is the reward. Now, if your dog doesn't like to use a toothbrush, you can always use those, um, those kind that fit on your fingers, those little rubber tabs of fingers, little bristles and you can put your finger in there and rub around as well. But for me, Addie likes to take a toothbrush, soft bristle, kitty size, and she does just fine. And the same goes with Anka, she loves it. She hates to come in the bathroom for a bath or a shower, but she'll come to get her teeth brushed. Goofy, I know, but it's true. So let's get right into it and let me show you how to do it. You want to go back and forth on the teeth, not too hard. Some people think you should go in circles like humans, but just back and forth ease and the teeth is fine. Get both sides, nice and easy. And again, Annie likes the coolness of the water. That's her own reward. Good girl. Good girl, Addie. And don't forget to get the front smile ones. You see, she likes that. And she just sniffed the toothbrush. Oh, she mixes it some more. Good girl, Addie. You're so good. Sometimes if I think she's got food stuck up in there, I can get the molars, but I really don't get the inside. I just want to get the tops. The tongue gets like 95% of all the goop on the inside of the teeth. So again, I just go back and forth, nice and easy, and get the smile ones up front. Good job, Eddie. Good job. Good job. And just like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing I did with Anka as I did with Eddie. I'm gonna check your mouth for any injuries any blood spots, any things I need to be aware of to share with my vet. All looks good. And again, she just likes the fresh water. And I'll go straight back and forth. Not circular motions, don't push too hard. Get the front smile teeth. There you go. And again, I'll get the other side as well. Just back and forth, nothing fancy. Again, I'll get the high points of her teeth, but the insides, I'll let the tongue do the work. As you can see, it works real well. Good girl. And if you go soft and slow, they like the love on their gums. And as always, when done, give your dog play. Oh, good. Good girl. That's a good honka bonka. Good girl, honka. That was good. Yeah. And remember, a lot of times, other tooth gum, oral issues with your dog can be linked to other internal organs having stress and health issues with your dog. So please, brush your dog's teeth on a daily basis. Again, once a day is perfect. Six times out of seven in a week is okay, good as well, but you've got to do it on a regular basis. So if you love your furry friend, and I know you do, brush your dog's teeth. What's 90 seconds? Come on. 
Also be an alert. If you go out once in a while and you travel as much as I do, and you got time zones, and you're out till two, three o'clock in the morning, you might wake up in bed at four or five thinking, oh, I got bad breath. I better brush my teeth. Well, you go in the bathroom and you don't want to turn on the light because your eyes aren't adjusted. You sometimes don't pull the adult toothpaste. You inadvertently pull the dog toothpaste. Let me tell you folks, poultry dog toothpaste is gross. Don't do it. Flip the light on, make sure you're using the right toothpaste because the dog toothpaste is not going to work for you. Unless you like dog toothpaste and you're a freak. And I'm not saying if you like it, great, but watch out. I didn't like it. <laughs> All right, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for coming in and watching. If you liked it, please hit the subscribe button and the like bell so you get notifications next time I upload a video. Again, this is Steve with Hobie Life. Thanks for coming. Have a good day. Bye-bye.